Hi, welcome back to NFT Gaming and for today's video, I'm starting a series on Ragnarok Labyrinth NFT. So if you guys do not know yet, I am now in Vietnam doing some charity work plus my own business here and I could not find any stable Wi-Fi for the past few days to upload my videos. So I am truly sorry for that and I hope you guys can actually forgive me. And without further ado, let's jump straight into the content. So the first tip that I will share with you is to actually try to play on your PC instead of on your phone. Since you can progress much faster and have more comprehensive range of views compared to playing on your phone. The app I'm using to play the game is on Blue Stack. However, for you guys to have this screen like you are seeing, you first need to download this app called Control Screen Orientation. Once you have downloaded, you can turn it on and your vertical screen will convert into a horizontal screen like the one I'm showing you guys right now. The third tip is to try to complete your multi-instance every single day. So where exactly is this multi-instance? First, you need to head over to the top right over here that says Labyrinth Island. So you just need to click the Labyrinth Island over here and this is called the multi-instance. So let's say you, if you have a BP of more than 20,000, you will need to click either the Deep Forest or the Payon Forest since they give the same amount of cards or I can say the same rarity of cards that will be given if you complete the multi-instance. And once you have loaded the Labyrinth, you will need to head over to this monster over on the left and then make sure to click on it. So once you click on it, there will be two types of instance and the first one is a scenario which you will follow accordingly to your main quest and the second one is a multi instance which I'm talking about. So do not miss any of these instances since this is where your damage will come from in the late game. And the reason I say is for the late game because you will need to find a specific card for your particular class. The fourth tip is to not include any share character if you plan to just AFK online. You only need the share characters when you are MVPing, clearing instances and clearing the boss. So please please do not waste them since you can only recharge them for 3 hours for free every single day. Also, each character you recruit is equivalent to 1 second. I know it's confusing but hear me out. If you recruit 4 characters, your timing is not decreased by 1 second per second. However, it will reduce 4 seconds from your recharge time every second. This means your recharge timing will deplete 4 times faster than if you only recruit 1 character. And if you guys still do not understand, the more shared characters that you have, the faster it will deplete your recharge time. And that are the 4 tips that you probably did not know when playing Ragnarok. If you think this content helps you, give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Until then, I will see you guys again the next time.